Assessment of individual tumor buds using keratin immunohistochemistry. A moderate intra-observer agreement suggests a role for machine learning. Around the globe, colon cancer is one of the most prevalent cancer types for both men and women. Unfortunately, there is a lot of variety between the progression of the tumor for patients with the same stage within the current guidelines. Therefore, a lot of researchers are looking for new additional biomarkers to have a more accurate grading system. Currently, when pathologists receive a new tissue slide of colorectal cancer, they will search throughout the entire slide looking for the tumor. Once located, they look at the size and the shapes of the cells, the size of the tumor, as well as how deep it has penetrated into the colon. If we look closely, we can see a couple of tumor cells breaking loss from the tumor mass. Because these are very small, experts believe that they can travel more easily through the tissue and migrate to blood or lymph vessels, increasing the risk of metastases. These small cell clusters, called tumor buds, are defined as a group of 1 to 4 tumor cells and have been shown to be a strong, independent biomarker. A group of 5 or more tumor cells is called a poorly differentiated cluster. The more of these tumor buds there are, the higher the risk of the metastases and the worse the prognosis. However, scoring budding in clinical practice has been hampered because these tumor buds are relatively difficult to identify in a regular h &E stain, as we can see here. Luckily, there's another stain, called cytokeratin, that makes identifying these tumor buds easier. Still, identifying them correctly is a very tedious task and that's why we were wondering if we would automate this process by using artificial intelligence. Before we can train a machine learning algorithm though, we need to have a lots of examples of true tumor buds. To get these examples, we collected 49 cytokeratin stained tissue slides from three hospitals and asked one pathologist to mark multiple regions with high tumor bud counts. With the help of a computer, we first separated all tumor cells from the tissue and selected objects that were smaller than 10,000 micron each. From the thousands of potential tumor bud candidates, we randomly selected 3,000 objects. After selection, we divided them into two groups of 1,500 items each. We invited 11 experts in the field of tumor budding around the world to score these objects as either tumor bud, poorly differentiated cluster, or neither, with the additional rule for a tumor bud that the nuclei should be visible. To allow simultaneous execution, we have created a web platform. When all cases were scored, we started analyzing the results. We found that a total of 1010 objects were identified as tumor bud, 52 as poorly differentiated cluster, and 703 were identified as neither tumor bud or PDC. For the remaining 1235 objects, no agreement was reached. We found a moderate agreement between the observers. If we look closer at the objects without agreement, then we can see that some of these cases have very faint nuclei visible, making it very hard to identify if those objects were actual tumor buds or not. Another issue that we found was with so-called cytokeratin remnants. These are small regions that are stained, but are, don't actually represent the cell and might have caused for some confusion. In conclusion, we found that scoring individual tumor buds is difficult, even for experts in the field. A machine learning algorithm could help reduce the observer variability greatly. And now we have 2,000 objects with a score of multiple experts. With these objects, we can start training an artificial intelligence algorithm to automate the detection of tumor buds. And thereby, we hope to get tumor budding into the clinic real soon.